a severe mental disorder in which thought and emotions are so impaired that contact is lost with external reality. Hello. Who are you? you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. is afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness, it just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power.
You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far. she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Well, that's an interesting uh, fact. I am partially controlling her, while also partially being her thoughts. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there. I have a curious question, especially back in that time. If they were anywhere aware of the mental mentality of this. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. Is that a skull? Source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess 
Hella holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. But it's a curious question. I know on um, most people, they're not actually aware of being, ha having psychosis, having um, schizophrenia. But I know some people are actually aware of it, like they figure it out because the uh, surroundings don't match up. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? And she I'm, I'm curious back then because, you know, He's it's only dead. been modern-esque. And I say in modern-esque, it would be like 18th century to towards the future. Like back in the, I don't know, 14th century and before, if they understood the breaking of mentality and the people that were schizophrenic and all that, if some of them actually understood what was going on, I was able to find it back. And of course, a lot of this stuff could be... I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. It's also a curious question on um, the, old fool's the mentality of it. If a lot of this was Let's see, shall we? off of drugs that they would take, like because they would experiment with all sorts of stuff. That's how we figured out, you know, medicine and all that these days. But how much of it was like possessions and there's a whole world out there that. It's hard to explain. Is it over here? It's, it's just, it's just curious about if the people back then kind of understood, because you know, some things from your surroundings to your actual thought process, they wouldn't match up. So I'm curious on who would be able to tell, like a person with strong enough mentality. Mentally wise to be able to tell. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. It looks like a crow monster. That's where you must travel. Helheim. Probably based off of hell. A lot of our words go off of the old languages. For. <laughs> Why did she do that? She shouldn't stop. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Well, this looks great. I wonder how much of this stuff is actually just in her head. It's not going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. It won't. It's dangerous. Don't kill, Don't kill me. me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'm never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew? Is that you? How do you know? For my tales of the Northmen, they call me Drew. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> He's got me. Drew is my truth. Hmm? It's 
good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Focus. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. She needs to look closer. Focus. Oh boy. Okay, I was just supposed to be going off of. Look towards the gate, and the gate will open. This is not how the gate was going. Look towards the rock. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Good work. spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listened when everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Oh, this is only uh, slightly precarious. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What good is that? When we are always here. So it sounds like she does have a slight understanding that they're not real. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge and pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish that The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Yes, yeah, because I. Oh no, are we gonna fight something? <laughs> Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the Stupid dead. Stupid achievements. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Shh! Someone's 
Kaffee. This is all the new head. Some weird key binds here. spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her 
her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Well, the funny thing is, is that the perception of the mind is quite the precarious thing. I'm going to say I had no chance of winning on that one. It was probably a tutorial-ish-esque thing. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? You know, the funny Why little thing about she? the rot on her hand. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? Is that kill her. I know it. <laughs> your mind <laughs> controls the body? Be very careful, choose and if gate, you do Senua. truly she believe, can. like most Which have, that have mental illnesses, you are actually able to control your body so say you believe you have a rotting hand your body can make it to be rotting 